My first experience, my first ever lap of the Element TT was with Carl Harris, um, someone that I'd watched racing for years and years, obviously a top, top BSB rider, and our lap out together was with Milky. Milky was our instructor, and obviously he'd helped us with some laps before and everything. And I remember even the whole first part of the lap was unbelievable, like down Bray Hill and everything. It's like the most famous part of, of the TT. But I remember when we got up to the mountain, um, just past the bungalow and stuff, and there was like people I remember way out in the distance, like halfway up the field and everything, standing and watching and stuff. And I just, I, I don't know why, just at that one point, and it stuck with me ever since. I just thought, somebody's going to step out here and go, stop. This is illegal. You're getting arrested and you're not allowed to do this and you're not allowed to have this much fun. It was like unbelievable. And that was the first lap. But then I think the after that it gets a little bit hard for two or three nights because you're like trying to get a bit better and trying to get a bit better. But then sort of like towards the middle of the end of the week you actually tie a lap in and that's like, that is the best feeling in the world. You know what I mean? Because you suddenly go from going, oh, left to right or is this what's coming? To going, oh, I can break a bit later, I can break a bit later, get on the gas. And that feeling of actually flowing around for the first lap, you almost forget it because the feeling of getting round is that exciting. You think, oh, I'm round to the finish again. And um, I think that was that was the most amazing thing. And you, everybody asks you what's it like or what's going down Ray Hill like or anything. And I don't, you can't actually explain it to someone. There's a lot of things in the world. It's like somebody says, jumping out of a plane, what does it feel like? You, there's no word invented to to make that feeling emotion come across it's it's unbelievable and we get to do it every year which is well twice a year if we do the classic tt so it's amazing so until somebody steps out and says no you're not allowed to i'm going to keep coming i don't know i think i think it's the th the thing of like you can go and say if you don't even do british championship you can go and do a track day on any track in england do you know what I mean? If you've got enough money, you can pay, you can hire, you can do whatever you want. You can't do that road racing. You can't go and do a lap of the Northwest with the closed road and do 200 mile an hour. You can't come and do a lap of the TT with the closed road and go absolutely flat out. That's not possible. Do you know what I mean? You, no matter how much money you have, you can't shut the whole island down. And I think it was that thing of, I want to know what that feels like. And that's, that's what it is. And the worst thing about it is once you feel what it feels like, then it's really hard to, to stop it, imagine. But, um, Thankfully, I'm nowhere near that point in my career yet, and I absolutely love what I do. I think I've watched quite a bit of onboards, but the trouble with that is, for some reason, you you wouldn't think this was possible, but when you watch an onboard, it really makes you fall asleep. It's a bit like writing a book. So you sort of learn the first third or the first half of it really well, and then you fall asleep or nod off, and then you'd wake up and you'd be back to the back again. So you keep watching the first half. But... Yeah, people say loads of things, and the trouble is that everybody learns different ways. Like some people are really good at reading and taking stuff in, and some people have to do it practically. And I have to do something to understand what way it works. And I don't care what anyone says. When you're sitting on your sofa watching an onboard, you're not setting off down Bray Hill, holding onto a set of handlebars, getting arm pump. You know what I mean? Feeling in your legs, the vibration of the bike, the noise, the wind everything that doesn't happen on your sofa so you can't compare that it's good for going there's a left hand coming up there's a right hand coming up and roughly how fast or you need to slow down but that is it everything else has to be learned by riding the motorbike i think yeah like i said after your first year you have a good understanding where it goes and everything and then the second year you start chipping away and chipping away it goes from meters down to feet down to inches and do you know what i mean that's that's the way it works and knowledge the only trouble is i'm really bad with names so i don't really know the names of anywhere i know where everything is to me and what it's like or where roughly the damp patches are in evelyn but i'm not very good with the names of the track at any track i'm the same i don't really know the names of corners or just go around them yeah goes left or right it's a 50 50 chance in it <laughs> uh, my favorite bit is the mountain i try and not dislike any bit because then you you know, you've got yourself that feeling before you mindset before you get there. But I really enjoy once I get out of the gooseneck and up over the mountain. I, I really enjoy that part. Why? It's just fast and flowing, and you can see, and it's quite smooth. And even the whole surround, like you don't be looking at the surroundings, but subconsciously, it's like you're in the middle of nowhere. You're going absolutely flat out on a, especially on a superbike. You know, you're doing two hundred mile an hour, and there's nobody near you. Or 
you know, you, all you can feel is what's what's between your legs. Yeah. <laughs> Easy now. <laughs> I think the and maybe not even so much learning the track, but somebody very important in the TT told me that on your first year, go out, ride round, <coughs> be safe, but enjoy the TT. Go out at night, see what's happening, because when you become good at the TT, you never, you don't get to do that anymore. You know, last Saturday night, you might go out for some beers when it's all done, and there's so much pressure and everything, and that was the best thing he did. Like, my first TT, I enjoyed it so much. I was out all the time, and a proper took it all in. And I think that's what you need to do, you know what I mean? I'm not saying to be a clown or take your riding of your bike seriously, but don't put too much pressure on yourself and actually enjoy riding the bike because you'll go so much faster by doing that than you know, looking for tents and sectors and trying to set the bike up and stuff, you know what I mean? The, the, if you get a good base setting of whatever team you come with and just do as many laps and lifts so you have a problem, pull in, but just keep doing laps.